So doctors normally in a public hospital earn um, between 3,500 3, euros to 4,000 uh, 4, euros. Uh, Uh, Jeet Vlogs is uh, my favorite channel on YouTube. Hello guys, welcome to Jeet Vlogs. So guys, today I've invited one of the special guests from the Spain, our senior doctor. So welcome to Jeet Vlog. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be here. So uh, please introduce yourself. Doctor. My name is Marta. I'm a student from Spain. I'm graduating in June and so I, hopefully I will become a doctor in June and um, I came here as a trainership. I'm doing surgery and internal medicine and I'm really happy to be here. So doctor, first I want to ask what is the study pattern of this Spain? Uh, so in Spain uh, we have six years and um, after the six years uh, you graduate, you become a doctor but you need to specialize, specialize sorry. So um, uh, you take an exam and uh, it, depending on the mark you get, you access to one specialization or another and on one hospital or another. So it's the only way to access to a specialization doing an exam after the, three, the six years of medicine. Uh, then I was asking after high school you can apply for the medicine. Yes, yes. Um, af uh, after high school uh, we have an exam okay. and that's also the only way to enter to medical school. And uh, the exam consists in history, uh, biology, chemistry, Spanish, English or French, and um, and basically that's it. And uh, depending on the on also on that the mark you get on that exam, uh, you can access to uh, other universities, some universities, and um, you have to, you have to do that exam in order to get into medical school, and you need to get out of fourteen more or less a uh, 12 to 13 points is there any question bank that from where the students if international students want to apply then is there any question banks for the entrance exam uh, yes yes uh, i think there's there's a system that uh, helps you access to medical school for for foreigners uh, that it's in english um so there, there's a possibility of other students to, to access okay. to medical school in spain yes so uh, what, uh, how much credit should a student score then they will get uh, admission in the university? Sir? Uh, how much marks they will have to score in the exam so they can get... Yes, uh, as I said, uh, the exam is a, a, a point out of 14. Okay. So you need to get, a, to get into medical school between 12 and a half to 13 points out of 14. Mm -hmm. So you need to get a really, a really high score. And what is the mode of uh, teaching, like English or Spanish? Uh, mainly Spanish, but there are some uni some universities among Spain uh, that uh, teach, English. Te teach English. Yes, okay. teach English. Yes. And uh, what is the duration of the studies in of medicine in Spain? Um, like a, a fifth year program or sixth year program in Spain? A sixth year program. Yes, okay. sixth year. Basically, program. in our country, it's four point five and five like this, uh, but uh, in Spain, that's yeah, six, six years. years. Six yeah. year program. Okay. So, what is the tuition fees of the universities in Spain? Uh, uh, so it depends on what part of Spain. I'm from the south, and in the south, you have to pay um, eight hundred euros the first year. And then if you pass all the exams, it's basically free. Uh, but in other universities uh, in Madrid or in the north of Spain, it's like uh, almost uh, 1,000 euros uh, per year, but it depends. And what is the accommodation charges in this Spain? So in Spain, depending on uh, what are your preferences, but um, if you live on an apartment, maybe you can get a nice apartment for, for, for Mm, 400 euros if you share it and um, the um, food expenses are not that are not that expensive mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe you can for 100 euros a month you can you can buy food, enough buy food in the supermarket food. yeah and we have also um, in Spain we have a lot of traditional food and uh, the tapas that we, we eat in <laughs> yeah. Spain are normally uh, very cheap so you can like taste different Spanish foods in some bars 
and it's not expensive okay and i was asking uh, does the spanish people talk in much in english or like uh, is the talk generally in spanish only uh, so between us we talk in spanish of course but uh, nowadays there's a lot of people that know english um, obviously it depends but uh, most people in spain know that and can defend themselves in english so doctor what about the clinical practice in the spain is there any process to uh, is there a foreign students allowed for clinical practice in spain or not yes 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 uh, we have is um, a lot of programs uh, to accept uh, foreigners and uh, and other uh, medical students around the world especially uh, erasmus students uh, there's there are erasmus students in spain um, like a hundred and hundreds and hundreds of medical students around the world that come to Spain mm. and uh, to study here and uh, yeah there are a lot of programs and we, we open <laughs> foreigners with open arms yeah so doctor I wanted to ask you why did you come to Serbia for the clinical practice okay so um, I came here first in July when I was uh, when I was changing from uh, fifth year to sixth year okay. uh, with an organization called IFMSA and I did practice here in the hospital and in the clinical center of Kragujevac in ophthalmology and I was so happy, everyone was so um, welcoming. Uh, my mentor was uh, Dr. Professor Tanya Charlenak and she was re she's really nice, she's one of the best ophthalmologists here in Serbia. Mm -hmm. And I was so happy, everyone was uh, really open, uh, really welcoming, uh, really, really, really nice with me. I really liked the experience, so my university gives you the opportunity to do a practice on another hospital around the world during six years because six years in Spain is only practice at the hospital uh, and so I decided to ask my university if I had the, the, to if they could give me the opportunity to do a, a traineeship here for two months and that's why I'm here I'm okay. really happy so the university has finally given the permission that you came without yes, university yes. permission you can't come no 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 you need to ask your university permission and they like, need to accept it of course and I, they, either uh, you can come to Serbia only or you can go any part of the country uh, you can go any, to any part of the country, but I wanted to come here because uh, the doctors that I know work here and uh, basically to do that you need to, to organize it yourself and mm -hmm. I knew doctors only here so they helped me organize it. And uh, if the students uh, from here, from the Krasios, uh, wants to go to the spin then can is it possible to go for the uh, practice? Yeah, uh, I think it's possible but um, uh, it's main. You need to organize it uh, mainly with your university here, right. rather than to the University of Spain. Okay. So um, your university here has to uh, contact the mm. Spanish university. Okay. The student no need to contact the university. The university will contact them that my yes. student wants to go from here. So you want to give the permission. Or yeah, not. yeah. It's more. It, it's not um, something that the Spanish university has to accept. Accept. It's something that your university here in Serbia needs to it's to annoying. open. Yeah. The 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 university that has to give you the opportunity is the Serbian university. And then if they have any type of agreement with the Spanish university, then you can do it. Okay. Said that you came according to the Erasmus. What is Erasmus? So Erasmus is basically any student that uh, studies uh, their, um, uh, in their country. Uh, it doesn't have to be a medical student, it can be any type of a student. So they, ha they are completing their studies in their university and they do um, a few months of their studies in another country. So they become an Erasmus student. They are, uh, for example, right now um, uh, I am completing my studies in Sevilla, in Spain. So I'm here an Erasmus student, but basically it's any type of a student that goes to another country to finish their studies. Okay, uh, does is there uh, uh, any rules or regulation that is only for the European students or uh, like... Uh, no, it can be around, around the world. Uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of uh, agreements between the European Union, but it can be uh, outside the European Union. Outside from yeah. the European Union Yes, also. yes, for example, so I'm here and Serbia then is... Then did you contacted that, uh, is there any official site for that or from the university they used to contact the Erasmus? Um, the university, the university where you study, 
uh, normally offers you the opportunity. Let's say, okay, we have these opportunities for you. You can, if you're interested, you can choose. And in my case, my university uh, gives you the opportunity to do practice, as I said, to, in another country. So I ask my university to do practice in Serbia. But normally, during the six years of medicine, you can apply to be an Erasmus student to um, different places where your, your university has agreements. Okay. And I was asking last question, uh, does they give the uh, in Spain uh, license uh, to the foreigners students? Uh, like uh, after completing your sixth course, is, the, is there any exam for the license? Uh, any exam for the license? I mean, when, when you to finish... practice, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. They then, give you a certificate. Yeah. Yes. Then uh, that exam is being done in English or in Spanish? Uh, depending if you're a student if you're a foreigner it, it's it can be in english uh, okay. but normally it's in spanish okay so they allow to do the practice in the Spanish. Yes, yes yes okay so thank you dr nice to meet you and uh, welcome to my channel and thanks a lot for sharing your journey and information thanks to you i mean okay. it's it's a it's a pleasure <laughs> so guys if you like the video then please do like subscribe share and comment see you next vlog if you have any queries then you can write in my comment box Again, we will try to make another video if you have more queries then and if there is a genuine query you just must uh, repeat the videos Be the video was little too fast so you can repeat the videos once and twice and if you have uh, then also you have any queries then you can write in my comment box and uh, we will try to make another video if you have uh, genuine problems so see you in next video bye bye have a good luck yeah. thank you doctor